Hi guys, I will do a Bergen Tools Spanner review. I really think I gotta do this because it's just not many reviews on YouTube over these spanners at all. Believe it or not, I've had these spanners 18 years since I was 25. And I'll tell you a bit of a story, they've been used day in, day out because I was a panel beater for a Ford dealership for many years. So it wasn't just um, RB use. Hard use, if you know what I mean. I have got the 14, it's going fine today. But I've hit these with dead blow hammers. I put two together, butted them up, you know what I mean? For extra leverage. Never broke one. I had snap on and Mac, I was using alongside them. But I just grabbed these all the time. Never had any problem at all. And what a set, I think that set there, like 8 to, to 19. Uh, I'm not sure if the 18 came, I don't think the 18 was in there. Was, must have been 30 odd pound, that's all. Same as them, they're not a deep one, they're like a 30, 30 degrees there, less or something. Uh, 30 pound, if that. What a set this one was. 22 to 32. Unbelievable. I haven't used them the same, because obviously panel beating, you're not going to be using this size, but on the farm, yes. 60 pound, if that, for that set. Just tremendous banners, unbelievable. Obviously they're made in China, but well, whatever, yeah, China. But another story here, the old ones, I just want to pass this information on, because I know a lot of people like burger and stuff. These are the old cases. They don't come like this anymore. They were trying to pretend they were German when they came up with these. That's the, obviously the name. German writing as well, look. German writing in the old cases, and these are the ones to look for. Thick cases, thick, thick packs, even the packs are quality. Like I said, I've had this 18 years. And that's for that set, eh? I did actually lose this one for that set. But another story here, what to look out for. The writing. Because this is old Bergen review versus new Bergen. I'll come to that now, and the quality difference. I did mention in an earlier video, but the stamp is down in there. See the stamp down there? The oh, initials on mine as well. But that's a nice clear stamp with the millimeters, 19 millimeter. This is the best bit though, this side. Chrome. See it? The E is missing, so it's chrome. Chrome vanadium. All the good ones. And I gotta show you this. This is, this is something that I've just learned over the years. Chrome vanadium with E. Chrome vanadium. And the big ones. Chrome vanadium. Vanadium. With the millimeters on there. Look at that stamping. Look at the quality. 18 years. Look at the shine. Not a speck of rust. Nothing. I've been pretty much in the damp in my toolbox. Look, it's damp in here. The quality. Oh, what are you shaking? Unbelievable. Anyway, I bought a set of them um, a few years ago. I thought I want a, a deep set of ink spanners. We get to that now. Let's go to the quality again. You look around them all. And that's 18 years of use. I'll make a good picture here. But it, it was a lovely mirror finish on them. Right. This is the set I bought about two years ago. Bergen. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. So if this is what they're doing now. The case it come in, the wrap it come in, the packet, was the cheapest thing I've ever seen. It broke straight away. I think it broke before I took out the pack. But the quality of the spanner is so disappointing. Just the, look how fat it is. It's not even in shape. The shape of it is not right. You can't even read the Bergen very good. I just showed you the, the imprint on the other ones. There's no millimetres. You could just about make out as an 18 mil. But it's not that. That's, that's the worst bit. And if you look as well here, chrome vanadium. Right. Can't really see very good. It's so bad. There we are. With an E. We don't want an E. 
you won't come with Nadian for the good stuff I'd say but the quality this is the worst bit look at that finish by there look at that what's all that about another one of my favorite sayings look at that when people are showing this stuff on YouTube and I love Bergen why you why you look at that finish it's rough with your finger how can they get away with that? Each side the same, it's just not polished, isn't they? What a disappointment, I don't even use them. I wouldn't put them in my toolbox. I have them all in my house as backup ones. In case he infects my other tools with badness. That's the way I feel. Look at that. Oh, come on. What's that about? I don't think it is a Bergen. Because there's nothing like the Bergens that I got. So anyway, I just thought I'd do this video. Obviously it says Bergen. It is a Bergen. But come on, they've cut back with something. So there's not just one type of Bergens. There's a good and a bad one. Look for the good one. And the good one is good. Let me tell you. They say I sold my Snap-on and Mac tools. And I just use the Bergen spanners. Because I've never ever had one break. And like I said, I've which you're not supposed to, but that's something you have to. And it's rusting. That's about two year old. Compared to 18 year old. And it's rusting already. Well, it's hanging up in a shed. But they also have been outside for a long time. You see the way the colour have gone on the 10 there. On the, on the jaw. Obviously a 13, the two most common. And I'd say 17 and 19. But that's bad. Like I said, I, I felt sick when I took them out of the packet. I was expecting what I had. But look at the finish, do I just, I just can't believe it. Anyway, actual them ones, well, I'd say the best I've ever had. Never ever give it to them. Brilliant. If I can find, match them again, I would. I buy a new set of this because, like I said, 18 years, they are getting a bit tired. Well, not tired, never get tired, but looking, looking tired. But that's been a good set. But, just brilliant. If you want to look for the, the deep, clear symbol, with a funny little thing in front of it. Also millimetres, like I don't know if they do millimetres, say on the millimetres now, but say on the earlier ones. There, there. That's the, in my reckon, that's the giveaway. From vanadium. Without an E. Definitely, if you see a packet like this, it just looks heavier, the packet does as well. It's better quality. With a German writing on it. Malring combination. Right. But like I said, old versus the newer stuff. Maybe there's other types, I don't know, but that's just one one set that I bought. Maybe there are ones like this on there now, I don't know. I don't look into them all, but I'm fighting to buy in them. I don't want them to turn up. I Well, I send them back. If I bought more Bergen and they were like that, I'd send them back. This, yes, and keep it all day long. Look for more. But it's just no reviews on this Bergen stuff, really. I don't know why, because um, a lot of people have good things to say about it. I did have all the sockets. I bought every socket you could get through Bergen. And I didn't like them. They were thick walled. Good good quality, I'd say. Nice nice stamping on them. All imprinted nice. Um, but thick wall. I just didn't like thick wall stuff. Um, better for like strength, I suppose, sometimes. But the weight of everything was just so heavy. Anyway, still good stuff. Um, but these are the spanners. I really like the spanners. But these are just such a letdown. It might be a strong spanner. I'm not saying they're not going to be strong. But you buy, you expect better finishes than that. After having them for so many years. Anyway. Bit of a rant as well. But um, I'll do more of these. On uh, tools that I use a lot of. Because there's not many reviews out there of, of stuff like this. 
All right, thanks. Um, please like and subscribe. Thanks.